The FFT function, available on many Regal oscilloscopes, enables you to observe the input signal in both time and frequency domain at the same instance. Here's a brief experiment to highlight some of the features available with the FFT function. Let's test the AC line of the power supply to a test circuit board. Warning! The RMS voltage of this AC line is about 220 volts. This is a hazardous voltage condition and electrocution could occur. Therefore, make all connections with the power off. Also, use high voltage probes for safety and accuracy. When testing, connect the probe tip to the live wire and the alligator clip to the earth wire. Set the ratio of channel 1 to 100x, the vertical scale to 100 volts per division, and the time base to 10 milliseconds per division. Now we can see the AC line waveform on the screen. Turn on the RMS measurement and frequency measurement. As you can see, the results are about 200 volts RMS and 50 hertz. Now choose the FFT function, select channel 1, rectangle window, split display mode, and set the voltage units to dB. Use the multifunction knob to adjust the vertical amplitude and vertical position. The x-axis now denotes frequency. We can use the horizontal scale and position knobs to move the trace to a more suitable location on the screen. Then, open the cursor function. Choose Manual Cursor. Set the cursor type to X. And set the source to Map. Select Cursor A and move it to the first peak. The reading of cursor A is 50 Hz, the fundamental frequency of the AC line. Choose cursor B, move it to the second peak, and the reading of cursor B is 100 Hz, which is the second harmonic of the AC line. Set the cursor type to Y, and now we can also measure the voltage of each harmonic. Here are some key points when using a Regal oscilloscope to measure AC voltage. Use caution when dealing with dangerous voltage. Be sure to use the proper probes for the maximum voltages you expect to measure. Set the scope to suitable vertical and time base values. Open the FFT function and use cursor functions to measure frequency and amplitudes of the FFT. Thank you.